The younger ones especially really enjoy coming, cuddling the chickens. Yeah. Um, but it just it just helps the helps the children with their learning inside the classroom and outside of the classroom because they can take what they do here in the forest back into the classroom with them. Yeah. We initially agreed to get um, animals and the ducks as a sense of responsibility for the children but also as um, a bit of nurture. Um, a lot of children don't have pets at home um, and it fitted in with our forest school ethos which delivers sort of emotional intelligence act, um, activities um, and they include things like self-worth and empathy and social skills. Children love um, cleaning them out and feeding them, um, and it really, really helps them sort of with the confidence, um, and it gives them a sense of responsibility as well. They may not be lucky enough to have a pet at home, so um, it gives them a sense of responsibility to be able to come and look after the ducks and the chickens at school, and they really, really do enjoy that. You know, they ask about them, and they look after them. know which children actually it works with um, in terms of vulnerable, the children that we have in school and also the children that are, have special needs um, and equally just confidence you know, when they go out there and they're actually engaging and talking with adults and that's something that they do outside that doesn't happen inside but those little links actually transfer into the classroom so the ducks in a way help communication um, and confidence transfer into the classroom. Get quite a lot from spending time with the ducks as well because you know not all children are academic um, and they've, they've they get a sense of sort of belonging, helping the animals and sharing things with the animals because um, the animals don't judge them um, and a lot of kids sort of respond to that very, very well. I love having the ducks around. Um, I'm up there every day cleaning them, taking the children up, getting them all sorted out. Um, and for me it's a bit of sort of a quiet space to go when work's really busy. Um, I enjoy going up into the forest and just being with the ducks. It sort of clears your mind a bit and helps you relax really. Um, it just it's a bit of a simpler way of doing things, you know, you're looking at the, the animals and, and you just feel a bit calmer really. And it's just something nice, it breaks the day up for me and for the children going up to see them. So they can take what they do here in the forest back into the classroom with them. Yeah. Um, they also just get a lot of fun out of <laughs> watching the chickens and the ducks yeah. because they are quite amusing. But um, it does give the children a real sense of responsibility. Yeah. Watching them and looking after them and feeding them and they really enjoy it. Um, we know that when the children are outside that they communicate better and that their confidence grows um, and that they're less stressed. So by adding animals, particularly ducks, um, to the equation and part of their sort of daily life, it becomes partly you know, their responsibility to manage them, um, to look after them, um, you know, the whole sort of nurture side of um, development really. Mm -hmm.